60 years ago, India was a major football nation, the pride of Asia. But it's been the soundest sleeping of giants for a long time now. Maybe the recent presence of FIFA's General Secretary Jerome Valka at the opening of the new development office in the capital, Delhi, is a sign that things could soon be moving in the right direction. FIFA is very keen on promoting the cause of football here and has singled out India as a nation where things can happen. In a way, because Asia is too big, so you have to pick up some countries. You cannot just, uh, it's uh, uh, what, two thirds of uh, the world population. So you have to make sure that, again, you go where you think that there's a potential to develop over a short period. Uh, and India is, we think, uh, a country where over the next 10 years, we could develop football and make football not maybe as the number one sport, but it's so big, India, with 1.2 billion people, that you can have at least two sports, not only cricket, but cricket and football, or football and cricket. In times past, the best domestic competition was seen in the local leagues of Kolkata and Goa. Now there's a national setup, with the I-League bringing together the best in a fully professional tournament. However, traditional events like the Durand Cup still bring out the crowds and remind people of a time when the Indians could hold their own against anyone. The president of the All India Football Federation is intent on restoring some national pride. We have a long way to go. We were Asian champions in the 50s and 60s, but it's seen a big decline after that. And uh, we have to make sure that the level of Indian football uh, really uh, picks up. And uh, that's why we are uh, working on a very systematic plan to build the grassroots of Indian football. And we want uh, the pyramid to go up rather than, you know, going from top to bottom. This squad, suffering in the Kolkata monsoon, is one of India's new building blocks. They're the Pylan Arrows, the only I-League team immune from relegation. That's because the players are graduates of India's national age group squads. The club was set up after it was noticed that youngsters rarely got off the bench in I-League games. And while the Arrows may not have been challenging for honours, their lineup of locals is providing a useful service. It's a very good thing, in fact, because the, under, the junior teams, after finishing the under-19 age group, they don't have. They go to the. They go to clubs and they don't get a chance to play. Which, but the Arrows has developed a team by the federation, which after the after the players finishing the under 19, they come to the Arrows team and still they get a chance to play in the I League, which helps to increase their performance and plus they have a chance to go to the senior team. There are many players from for the past three years who are getting a chance from the Arrows to go to the senior team and give their best. While the Arrows will hopefully form the backbone of the national team in the coming seasons, work is already underway to nurture the next generation. This is a Navi Mumbai Regional Academy. Set up in May, this FIFA goal project is a haven of tranquility for the national under-15 squad. The boys come from all over India, not only from traditional centres, but also from the far northeast, an area which has produced a number of recent stars. When uh, we held the trials for the boys for the regional academies, they came uh, all the way from different parts of the country and they showed their seriousness. Uh, now they have been here from the last uh, couple of months now and uh, the day, from the day one till now they have improved a lot and we hope that they will carry on doing this. I want to see my boys, my academy, to be one of the best academy in the Indian football. Not only in India, uh, apart from the, uh, the neighboring countries. Well. A squad of 16 live in the academy, receiving schooling and also instruction in the tactics of the game. A programme of regular fixtures, often against opponents several years older, gives them a chance to test themselves. And the hope is that the programme can spread to other centres across the subcontinent. Shailesh Kakera is the academy's manager. We are, since we are the pioneers, we are the first academy in India, so definitely we want to set a standard for the rest of the academies going forward and we are hoping that some of the players represent the national team in the coming future because at the end of the day at the end of the day that's exactly what the plan is to have players who can play for the national team it'll be a few years before that happens but in the meantime there are hopes that india will be able to stage a major tournament such as the fifa under 17 world cup that would show this sleeping giant is finally beginning to stir <laughs>